All right, so I just got this plasma cutter. Uh, I got it off Amazon. It was like 300 bucks or something. It was like 299, I think. I've been uh, looking at these for a while and I decided I was finally gonna get one. I had a bandsaw at work and I got rid of that and decided to trade it in for a plasma cutter. I think I'd use it more around here for stuff. So this one is a War Fox, apparently. It's a cheap Chinese one. Uh, I read some of the reviews on them, they seemed okay. So I decided it was pretty low risk, so I'd pull the trigger. Looks pretty good out of the box. I got the one that has the pilot arc option. If you're gonna get a plasma cutter, you should just get one with the pilot arc. The, the ones you gotta strike everything, those are, those are a pain. We got one at the shop and I don't like it. You should be able to just pull the trigger and go, especially if you wanna run a guide. If you wanna cut anything clean and have to do nice repeatable cuts, having a guide on there really makes it easy. I hope that's supposed to be like that. Seems good, let's try it out. So I haven't even tried it yet, I just got it. Looks like it's got a 220 adapter, which is what I plan on running it on anyway. I did all the boring stuff, I put it together already. Really all you gotta do is just put the air pressure regulator together on the back side of it and then just plug your, your cords into it. So you run a 110 or 220, 220 you'll get more power, somehow it automatically knows. Not a real long power cord on it. So I'm gonna run it at 65 PSI. Right there. So most videos show these things cut in nice clean metal. And that's not what I bought this for. I bought this mostly to see a lot of stuff goes to the junk pile around here and there's so much good usable steel in these junk piles that it's just getting thrown away and steel is so expensive to buy when you want to make something so i got this thing so i could go out and just kind of quickly cut good sections that i want to keep out of stuff before it goes to the junkyard so here i got a turtle from my disc bind it's got grass on it it's got chunks of grass uh, there's a lot of rust on it there's some paint on it just see what this thing will do to this kind of thing it's pretty thick too Stuff's almost quarter inch. See, this is why you want pilot arc. Because normally, with the strike one, you'd have to touch it to it. This one, just pull the trigger. And you gotta make sure that they are a pilot arc, because some of them will say they are and they aren't. And I did a whole bunch of reading on there, and people were complaining about, it said pilot arc and it's not. So read some of the reviews and stuff and make sure it is. Because I think these things are useless if they're not pilot art, because you can't run the guides. You'd have to touch it and then somehow rotate the head back into the cut without losing, without losing your cutting. So just get the pilot art and you can pull the trigger and just go. That was pretty clean, really. Let's try a bigger cut.
That ain't bad. This thing will be handy. That's some pretty dirty metal. Let's try some rusty old chain. Because why not? I'll cut right through that side. No problem at all. Cut right through. That's really rusty stuff too. The whole reason I bought it. All right, I got a nice thick mower blade there, nice and rusty. And I switched over to using these goggles. They're number five shade. Uh, the welding mask is too hard to use. It would flicker out in and out and I just couldn't see what I was doing. It was too dark. I think I got these at Harbor Freight. They're like eight bucks. They're not very much. Pretty happy with that. I mean, really, that's pretty clean. So, not bad for a cheap plasma cutter, really. So here's some of my other metal cutting stuff. If you guys are interested in any of the other stuff, you don't know about it. Uh, for one, you got your angle grinder. These go through a lot of blades. I got a grinding blade in it right now, but. But these cutting blades, you know, they'll cut steel. They don't last very long. So if you don't know about these, they make these diamond metal cutoff blades. They're supposed to last like 75 times longer than these little wheels. Those work pretty good. I like having them around. Um, I just found out about this new blade and I really like it. It's the steel blade that goes inside of a circular saw. This I really use a lot. I like this. This will cut some really thick stuff. It doesn't make a whole lot of noise or sparks either. And it just goes in a regular circular saw blade. And I think it'll cut like three eighths, maybe even a little more. Uh, well, that's just quarter inch, so uh, I'll show you that. You can see how nice it chopped through that quarter inch thick mower blade. It's pretty thick. These are pretty tough too. So I'm not a tool review guy. This isn't what I do or anything. It's just some stuff I keep around the farm for my fabricating and my own personal use. Just trying to pass it along. You know, if you were thinking about getting a plasma cutter or whatever, uh, I'd recommend the Warfox. I, I can't speak to how long it'll last, but it seems decently built and it cuts nice. That's about all I can tell you as of right now. The other stuff too, the angle grinder and the circular saw blade I've had for a while. Highly recommend those. They, they work really nice. So thanks for watching guys.